Why? Can we solve this together? Okay, not mind me. Let's be serious. We are asked to solve this math Olympiad question, okay? And how do we go about it? It's very easy. Yes, see. So what we are going to do? We are going to make this to look less ambiguous. How? We have noticed that we have one over root x, one over root y, one over root x, one over root y. We can actually call them a, a, a particular alphabet, say A and B, right? So let's see. Let one over square root of x be equal to A. And one over square root of y equal to B. Yeah. Once you are able to establish this fact, then we can now say that... Ah, let me draw this line here, please. Yes, let's draw it here. We need more of this board. I want to use it three times. Okay. That means in this particular equation now, we can say that this is 2a. Since our a is 1 over root x, right? So we can say this is 2a. 2a. Plus, similarly, this is same thing as 3b. Because 1 over root y is what? b. So 3 times b is 3b. Plus 3b is equal to 2. We can call this equation 1. You can see that this is now very easy. Mm -hmm. Now, the same thing here. We are going to write 4a. 4a minus 9b is equal to minus 1. We can call this equation 2. Now, this is what? Simultaneous equation. Now, I want to remove a so that I can find b. And to do that, I'm going to multiply a by the... I'm going to multiply equation 1 by the coefficient of a of equation 2. And I'm going to multiply equation 2 by the coefficient of a of equation 1. So if I say equation 1 times 4 and equation 2 times 2, okay? The essence is that I want this a to have the same coefficient so that if I do minus, the, the a will go. And I'll focus on my b and find my b. All right. So let's do that. 2a times 4 will give us 8a, right? Plus 3b times 4 will give us 12b. Is equal to 2 times 4 will give us 8. Now, for the second equation, we have 4a times 2 will give us 8a. Minus 9b times 2 will give us 18b. Is equal to minus 1 times 2 will give us minus 2. Now, if we say this equation minus this equation, we are going to have what? 8a minus 8a. This one will go. Right? Yeah. So we now have 12b minus 18b minus minus 18b. Note that. 12b minus minus 18b. That means 12b plus 18b. Since minus minus is what? Plus. So we are going to have 12b plus 18b. And that will give us what? 30b is equal to 8 minus minus 2 is what? 8 plus 2. 8 minus minus 2 is the same thing as 8 minus minus is plus 2. So it's going to be 10. So 8 minus minus 2 is 10. All right. If you have watched this video to this day, that means you're actually enjoying my channel. Yeah. So please hit that subscription button and then turn on your notification bell so that you won't miss my next episode. Mm, it's an episode so that you will not miss my next video. All right. So let's continue. Now, we cannot make B the subject of the formula. That means our B is what? Okay, let's do it this way. So let's divide both sides by 30 so that we have only B remaining, right? Yeah. So this, we cancel this. We now have that B is equal to what? 1 over 3. But remember that we are not looking for B. We are looking for X or Y. Now, let's go back. Remember what we said? That 1 over root Y is equal to B, right? If 1 over root Y is equal to B, that means that we can say that 1 over 3 is equal to 1 over root Y. So we can now write that. Let me clean this. I believe you must have gotten the information or the message I was I trying to apply. So we now have that 1 over root y is equal to 1 over 3. Now, what do we do? If we decide to square both sides of this equation, if we decide to square both sides of the equation, we are going to have 1 over root y squared is equal to 1 over 3 
squared. Now, what's the essence of doing that? Because I need to remove this square root here. Okay? Now, 1 squared will give us 1 over root y squared. This square will cancel this root and you are left with only y. Is equal to 1 squared is 1. All over 3 squared is 9. Now, by comparison, we can say that y is equal to 9, right? So, our y is equal to 9. We have gotten the value of y. How do we now get the value of our x? Now, we are going to use the same method that we used to get our y. Remember that we said that our... Okay, we are going too far. This is what we are going to do. Our b is equal to 1 over 3. Let's put it into any of these equations to get the value of a. Then we are going to equate it to what we have here. Okay, so let's substitute b equal to 1 over 3 into equation 1. This equation 1. So let's put... Put b equals 1 over 3 into what? Equation 1. Now, let's do that. So, we have 2a plus 3 into... Our b is 1 over 3. Is equal to 2. Now, 3, we can say 3. We are left with what? 2a plus 1 is equal to 2. Right? Yes. So, we can now say that 2a is equal to... 2 plus 1 will cross over to become minus 1. Now we have 2a is equal to 1. Alright, permit me to clean this, this side of the board. Clean this side of the board. Alright, so we have that 2a is equal to 1. That means that a is equal to 1 over 2, right? If we divide both sides of the equation by 2, that means a is equal to 1 over 2. But remember that we said let a equals 1 over root x. I've cleaned it, but I can still remember. Yeah. So our a is equal to 1 over root x. That means we can equate 1 over 2 as 1 over root x. So we now say that 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over root x. So what do we do? We need to square both sides of this equation to remove this root sign. So it's going to be 1 over 2 all squared is equal to 1 over root x all squared. Okay, now 1 squared, ah, let me clean here as well. I don't want to, yeah, let's go. Now 1 squared will give us 1 over 2 squared will give us 4. Is equal to 1 squared will give us 1 over root x squared will give us, square we cancel root, we are left with only x. So, by comparison, this implies that our x is equal to 4. As easy as that. <laughs> Therefore, x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 9. Okay. Um, what if we decide to check? Let's prove this. Let's prove that what we got is correct. We are going to use just one of the equations. Like the first one says, let's check. Let's check. The first equation says that 2 over root x plus 3 over root y is equal to 2. Alright, let's substitute what we have into this place. We now have 2 over root what? Our x is 4. 2 over root 4. Okay? Plus 3 over root. Our y is 9. 9 is equal to, let's see. So this is going to be 2 over 2 because square root of 4 is 2. All right? Plus 3 over root 9 is what? 3. So is equal to, this we cancel this, we have 1. Plus this we cancel this, we have 1. Is equal to 2, which is exactly what we have. So you can still use equation 2 to prove that we are right. But for the fact that it's, it actually gave us what we, what we are looking for based on equation one. That means that the solution is correct. Whew. Thank you so much for watching.